So I'm on this 2012 Toyota Corolla and I'm getting error code P0343, which is a camshaft position sensor A, bank one, or single sensor. And so what is this code? Well, the camshaft position sensors report back to the onboard computer, the location of the camshaft. And so the onboard computer is seeing an error with this and there's gonna be two sensors and it's seeing a problem with sensor A. I'm gonna show you how you go about fixing this and I'll be right back. So the first thing I do is go ahead and pop this cover off. It just pulls up. And this are the camshaft position sensors. And this is the one we want to take a look at. So right here on the back is a small little clip. And I just use a small little screwdriver. And I just barely pull out a little bit on one side and then pop it up. You just want to barely pull out a little bit on the center so you can pull it up. That way you don't break the clip. But what we could do is we could check this wiring. Some people don't check the wiring. They'll just go ahead and swap out the sensor, which you can also do. But if you want to be sure it's a sensor, you can't check the wiring. And so to do this, I'm going to go put the key into the on position. So I got the key in the on position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a meter to test the voltage on this. And what's going on with these three wire ones is that the center will be ground. One of the outer wires will be reference voltage, so it'll be like 5 volts. And then the third wire is going back to the onboard computer as a signal wire. So the first thing you could do is you could check for voltage. And while you could go from the center pin to one of the outer pins, it's very easy to accidentally blow the fuse if you're not careful. So I always just go from ground on the battery. So I'm just going to go from ground over here, try to do this with one hand. And so it's fairly hard to do this with one hand, but as you can see on one of the outer pins, I'm getting 5 volts DC. I'm going from the outer pin. I got the ground on the battery and that's giving me 5 volts. If I go to the other side, to the other outer pin, then the voltage is jumping. And this is very likely the signal wire. So that's the one going back to the onboard computer. And if I set my meter on continuity, just to read if there's connection, I'm gonna go from ground to the center wire. And this is just measuring to see if that's a good ground. And if it reads anything on continuity, it means that it's good. And checking for continuity to ground means the ground wire is good. So the wiring's good. And so that's basically how you test the wiring, but most people wouldn't test the wiring. They'd swap out the sensors and then if it doesn't work, they come back and check out the wiring. And so I'm going to go ahead and swap out the sensor. I got one right here and all it's going to take is a 10 millimeter. Okay, so I got the sensor back in, put the wiring back on, and we're ready to test it out. So it started right up. Still has a check engine light right there. I'm gonna go ahead and scan for codes. And it still has those codes on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clear them. But yes. And there went the engine light. So that's basically it. That's how you'd go about swapping out a camshaft position sensor on a 2012 Toyota Corolla. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.